Lesson 9.1c, Using Circumference. If we are given the circumference of a circle, we can use the appropriate circumference formula to find the radius or the diameter of the circle. We have c equals 2 pi r for circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. It can be used to find the radius if the circumference is given. So here we have a circle. It's telling us the circumference is given as 35 feet. We substitute the information into the formula. So we have 35 is approximately 2 times 3.14 times whatever the radius is. So we're using the approximation symbol because we're not using the pi symbol that represents all the digits of pi. That's why that's an equal. We're using approximation because we're approximating pi to be 3.14. We multiply 2 times 3.14 and get 6.28. Now, we divide both sides by the 6.28 and 35 divided by 6.28 is 5.57. We know, because that's the same numerator and denominator, it makes a 1. We know that 5.57 is approximately the radius. The radius is about 5 and 57 hundredths feet. Now, as I always say, there can be more than one way to solve a problem, but one way is usually easier than another. So here we have our circle with a circumference of 35 feet. We know that the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. We substitute our values, and we get 35 feet is equal to 2 pi r. We're going to divide both sides by 2. We're going to ignore pi for now. Unlike the one we just did, we're just going to divide by 2, and 35 divided by 2 is 17 and 5 tenths. So we know 17 and 5 tenths is equal to pi r. Now we turn pi into a 3.14. We use an approximation symbol. Now we divide both sides by 3.14, dividing again, and we get that the radius is about 5 and 57 hundredths and a feet, of course. By first multiplying the 2 by 3.14, we get 6.28. We only need to divide one time as 35 divided by 6.28 to find the radius is about 5.57. We didn't need to multiply, but in this case, we did substituting it into the formula, then dividing, then dividing again. Where in the previous one, we did substituting, multiplying, and then dividing. Now let's try solving it even another way. Instead of using 3.14 to approximate pi, let's use the fraction 22 sevenths. Is it easier to use 22 sevenths for pi? Well, we have our circumference of 35 feet. We know it's equal to 2 pi r, so we're going to substitute everything in as 35 is approximately 2 times 22 sevenths times r. We can write the 2 over a 1 so we can multiply straight across for our fraction, and we get 44 sevenths r on this side. Now, we need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 44 sevenths using the multiplication property of equality to eliminate this. We'll get 7 times 44 over 44 times 7. We're going to end up with the same numerator and denominator. So that's going to be eliminated as a 1. So we have 1r on this side. On this side, we have to multiply 7 times 35, which is 245, and 44 times 1, which is 44. Now we need to divide. We divide 245 by 44, and we get 5.57 approximately for the radius. So in this case, using the 22 sevenths, we had to substitute it into the formula, then multiply. Then we had to multiply by the reciprocal. Then we had to divide. For this problem, dividing both sides by 6.28 had less steps to solve. If we had used 3.14 and multiplied it by 2, we would have just gone straight to dividing by 6.28. It would have been much quicker. Now, either way, we're going to get the correct answer, but which way is easier? Okay, now we have a circular lake. It's in the shape of a circle. 
A circular lake has a circumference of 741 feet. A small boat is moving directly across the lake along a radius at a rate of 8 feet per second. How long does it take for the boat to get from the edge of the pond to the center? So it's going to go from the edge of the pond to the center, the edge to the center. It's going 8 feet per second, and we know that the circular lake has a circumference of 741 feet. First thing we do is find the radius of the lake. We know circumference is equal to 2 pi r. We substitute everything in. We do 2 times 3.14, so we're going to use an approximation symbol. Now, we divide both sides by the 6.28 so that we can eliminate this as a 1. We have 1r, and on this side, when we divide 741 by 6.28, we get 117, and it's 0.99, and then there's a lot of other digits. So I put approximately. I'm going to round this up to 118 since that's so close to 118. So we're going to say 118 is approximately the radius, 118 feet. Now, we divide the radius by the speed of the boat. It was 8 feet per second. We're going to divide the 118 by 8. And that's 14 and 75 hundredths, 14 and 3 fourths, roughly. So that's close to 15. We can say it takes about 15 seconds for the boat to get to the center of the lake. It's not exactly 15 seconds because we did use approximations here, didn't we? So we say it takes about 15 seconds. So here's what we know. The small boat was traveling along the radius of the circular lake at 8 feet per second, and it reached the center of the lake in about 15 seconds. We just found all that out. If the speed of the boat doubled to 16 feet per second, 8 times 2 is 16, what would happen to the time it would take to reach the center? Well, we know the circumference is equal to 2 pi r, and we know the circumference was 741. We know that 2 times pi is 6.28. We divided both sides by 6.28. We got approximately 118 for our radius. Now all we need to do is divide the radius by the speed. We had 118 divided by 16, well, that gives us 7.375. Now, we had 15 seconds the first time when it was going 8 feet per second. If we divide 15 by 2, we get 7.5, about 7.5, which this is close to. So we can say if the speed doubles, the time is about half because the boat is going twice as fast than before. If the boat is going two times faster, it's going to take half the time to get there. It's going to get there twice as quick, isn't it? The circular lake has a circumference of 741 feet. What is the diameter? Well, since the diameter is 2 times the radius, we can use the formula circumference is equal to pi d. We know 741 is the circumference. We know it's equal to pi d, so this would actually be an approximation symbol, wouldn't it? Because we're not using the symbol for pi that represents all the digits. We're using an approximation of 3.14. We divide both sides by 3.14, and we get approximately 235 and 99 hundredths is the diameter. So we can say, because it's so close, 0.99, we can say the diameter is approximately 236 feet. Now, if we know the radius is 118 feet, like we found before, we can just multiply it by 2. 118 times 2 is 236. So the diameter of the lake is about 236 feet, from one edge straight across through the center to the other edge. Here it's telling us to find the missing measurement to the nearest hundredth. We don't know the radius. We don't know the diameter. All it's giving us is that the circumference is equal to pi times some feet. All we're given is that the length is in feet. We can use a unit rate. Since the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter, we can use a unit rate of 1 for the diameter. We can say it's d.
and use 1D since the diameter, so that would be one foot, wouldn't it? Since the diameter is two times the radius, we can divide the diameter by two. One foot divided by two would be half of a foot. We can say it's 0 0.5 feet because two radii equal one diameter. See, we didn't know any more information, so we can just use a unit rate. Here we've got two more problems. Here, we don't know the radius, we don't know the diameter, but we do know the circumference. We use the formula, circumference is equal to pi times the diameter, and we do 47 and 1 tenth is approximately 3.14 times the diameter. We divide both sides by 3.14 and we get 15 for the diameter. So now we know, since this is in yards, that this is 15 yards. We still need the radius. We know that the diameter is two times the radius. So we can just divide the diameter by two and we'll know that the radius is 7.5 yards. For this one, it's in inches. They're giving us the diameter. We can use the same formula, and we do the circumference is approximately 3.14 times 18. That means the circumference is 56.52 inches. We can write IN. And we also know that the radius is half the diameter. So we can just do half of 18, which is 9. 18 divided by 2 is 9. That's 9 inches. And we were able to complete these by using the formula and some common sense. We're finished with lesson 9.1. We're going to be moving on to 9.2, which is about area of circles. And we're going to be exploring area of circles next. Remember to be careful so that you don't confuse the diameter numbers with the radius numbers, okay? Have a great day and join me for our next lesson. Bye.